Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full review on seven Paula's Choice products. These are products that I've been trying out for over two months now. Some of these products have become holy grails, cannot live without, and like life-changing as far as skin goes. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I'm gonna share my least favorites first, just kind of get those out of the way. Um, and I will say that none of these products I dislike. Like I would absolutely use every single one of these products again. There's just some that for the price point, I'm like, meh. Yes, if it's in the budget, but I don't think it's a must have. Whereas some of the other ones, I think they are worth every single penny and there is a huge reason why they cost what they do. And I think, like I said, they're life changing for your skin. So, so really quickly before we get started, I just feel like my channel has been kind of all over the place <laughs> lately. And it's kind of intentional because my channel and everything I just kind of consider like a lifestyle channel so i like to share a little bit of everything with that said are you guys enjoying all the different content i'm putting out would you rather me be a more like specific um or focus on like a certain area of my life like momming and fashion like those are my two like biggest things i feel like but i include so many other things like skincare beauty health fitness and all of that as well so i'm really just wanting to hear from you guys just let me know down below and let's jump right in so when i placed my order i wanted to try out a bunch of their different like focuses so this one is dry to very dry it's called the skin recovery line um this one here is the normal dry this is the resist line and then this one is the earth sourced all skin types then the eye cream that i tried out is the clinical so that's for all skin types but Again, it's another line. So they're all like color coordinated and they have an entire line uh, based on that like skin type. So I wanted to try out all of them. Maybe I would like these products better if they were paired specifically with like their friends and the other products that are from the same skin focus. But I wanted to try them all out. So the first product I wanna talk about is their cleanser. This is the Earth Source All Skin Types Perfectly Natural Cleansing Gel. So it says it balances and refreshes I agree with that. Removes impurities without stripping skin. I also agree with that and it's 98% natural. The only reason I'm listing this one first is because this cleanser is good. Like this cleanser is good. It does exactly what it says it does. It's very gentle. It has a very mild to like no scent. Um, it's really, really good. It removes my makeup well. My skin feels really clean afterwards and it definitely does not feel stripped. It doesn't feel tight and dry or anything like that. It just feels really gentle. Honestly, it just feels like a cleanser that does what it's supposed to do and that's it. I never broke out with this. I had no irritation. Um, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this. It's just for a more expensive cleanser and I feel like, I apologize for all the noise she is playing down here and she's happy so I'm like don't want to touch her her as in my daughter but just for the price point I feel like there are other cleansers that kind of do the same thing for me that this one did maybe if you are specifically looking for skincare products with really good ingredients and that are 98% natural this would be worth it to you I just feel like I do like some drugstore cleansers just as well um, the one that's popping into my head right now is the St. Ives green tea cleanser I love that and I feel like it just kind of does the same thing as this one only I kind of liked it a little more because it gave me that like cooling effect which this one does not but nothing bad to say about it it's a great cleanser and if it's in the budget and you're looking for a 98% uh, natural product then this could be the cleanser for you the next product that I wanted to talk about this is by the resist line this is for normal to dry skin this is the barrier repair moisturizer with retinol let me just say something really quick because I am using retinol even though I am breastfeeding I did my research I asked my doctor it's just like up to you I do not spread it down my neck or anything like that for me that's just a little too close for comfort but I do apply it to my face I know that it sinks into the skin and is absorbed into your body um, but for me it's okay I'm only using it once a week I probably would not have with my first baby but second time around I'm like mama needs mama needs a little something okay so anyway this does have retinol in it it says it's a light lotion that smooths and hydrates I agree. Visibly firm skin and targets all signs of aging. So I agree. It is a lotion that smooths and hydrates. It's definitely lightweight. So once again, with this product, I love it. I really don't have much bad to say about it. I did break out from it a couple times, just like little breakouts. I do think that this is a really lightweight lotion. It goes on very smooth and it does leave my skin feeling really nice. I just it's almost like um, 
like a tiny bit like watery at first and then it really like rubs into a smooth um, texture. It has a very, very mild to no scent. Like it just smells like a cream. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It does leave your skin feeling silky, silky smooth. Maybe I haven't used this product enough because I've really been alternating this with one of the other retinol products, which I'll mention in a second. I haven't been using them together. So where I'm only using retinol once a week, I use the oil or I use this. So maybe I haven't really used this enough to see the benefits. I will absolutely use the entire container. I just didn't feel like it was an absolute must have in comparison to some of their other products. Okay, now moving into the four products that I absolutely love, Holy Grails. I love them so much. I wanna jump in with this toner first. This is the Skin Recovery Dry, Very Dry Skin Enriched Calming Toner. It says that this toner has vitamin E and primrose. It says that it replenishes dull skin, which I absolutely agree with, and that it hydrates and smooths, which I 100% agree with. So this is like a milkier consistency. Um, Can you guys see that in there? It's a milkier consistency. Mm -hmm. It's not like a clear toner and it's definitely not gonna be one of those toners that you put on your face and you feel like it's just like sucking everything out. You know those ones that are just like really intense and they're um, really, not scented, but they just smell really strong and they make your face feel like really cold after and almost like dry and tight. It is not like that at all. It feels like you are moisturizing with water somehow. So when you put it on your face, it's really gentle and absolutely calming. I feel like that is such a great word and name for the toner because it absolutely does that. My skin feels so hydrated and like replenished after it's plump. So I like to use this before I apply my makeup because it just gives me like an extra layer of moisture and my skin responds really well to it. So it kind of calms any redness I have going on. Okay, so she is talking in her room. She's laying in her crib. I think she's ready for her nap. I can't really tell. Fridays are always weird because Knox goes to like a preschool on Fridays and it interrupts her nap, like with us getting there on time and whatnot. So always makes for an interesting day. Yeah, I absolutely love this toner. It says to shake well um, before you use it just because I think where it is a milkier consistency, you wanna make sure you really kinda like mix up all the ingredients in there before applying it to a cotton pad. I just do a little cotton round, apply it all over my face, and I feel really, really good after. I would definitely repurchase this. I will use the entire container, and I think it's an amazing uh, toner, especially if you want one that's like hydrating and calming. This is a good one. The next product I wanna talk about is one of their boosters. So this is the 10% niacinamide, I think is how you say it, booster, vitamin B3 and vitamin B5 for all skin types. I dropped two to three drops of this into my moisturizer and the biggest thing that I have seen with this booster is the difference in my pores. I feel like it does make my pores look like 50% smaller and I really, really appreciate that because I feel like everyone wants their pores to look smaller and this I really do feel like makes a huge difference. So I use it twice a day, like I said, two to three drops in my moisturizer. I honestly don't even notice it's in my moisturizers. Of course, with the drops being in there, this is like a very thin, almost like water-like um, consistency so it does make your moisturizer thinner but I haven't broken out from this I've had zero irritation it has no scent um, and like I said I just honestly don't even really notice it's in my moisturizer it's done you know really really good things for my skin it's really helped even out my skin tone and whatnot so highly recommend this I'm very intrigued after trying this to try some of their other boosters so when I placed my order with Paula's Choice I actually got a um, sample set of this line which is the clinical this is the ceramide enriched firming eye cream for all skin types. So this is just like a sample size and it came with two other products like to go with this and I didn't actually get to try those. But this eye cream is really, really good. I definitely feel like it has um, helped the fine lines around my eyes, which I have started to get as I get closer to 30. Um, I actually didn't even realize like how creasy like around my eyes was until I started using this and those creases went away and I was like, oh, I would absolutely purchase the full size of this. It's a really nice, it's like a medium um, thickness. This is really all you need though, so a little bit goes a long way, which is another reason why I think it is very worth the price, but I just rub a little bit in between my fingers like this and then I dab it underneath my eyes. I have actually worn this under my makeup as well and it pairs really nicely like under concealer and foundation. So, jeez, um, 
I also don't find that it's like tacky necessarily. It's just very moisturizing underneath your eyes. So like I said, I do find that it pairs well under foundation and concealer. I always set my concealers. I do think that obviously with the extra moisture under there, it could potentially cause creasing. It never has for me, but like I said, I do set my concealer, so that's just something to think about. Okay, next is the retinol serum that I was talking about. So this is the Skin Recovery Dry to Very Dry Skin Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum with Retinol, and it says that it fights multiple signs of aging. Okay, so serums are something that I have just recently gotten into in like the past year or two, and now I just feel like I'm like, how did I ever go without serums in my skincare? I feel like they have so many benefits, they make my skin look so nice, and I just will never go back. After trying a lot of different serums, I can confidently say that this is one of the nicest and most luxurious feeling serums I've ever put on my face. This feels like silk on your skin. It feels like a very high-end serum. It makes your skin feel and look beautiful. I did have a purge stage with this though with the retinol in it um, my skin was it didn't like break out necessarily but I had some weird like red marks going on in my skin but now I just find that this has done so many good things and has really like changed the texture of my skin wow guys I feel like sit down videos are just not even a thing for me anymore I could not be more frustrated right now that I cannot just get one thing done like I can never start and finish something in one try I just want to work. I just want to get something done. Okay, you gonna sit with me? Okay, so anyway, I love this as far as the retinol products go. This one is the one that I would recommend over the moisturizer, but if you're looking for a moisturizer and not a serum, if you're not a serum person, then go with a moisturizer because like I said, it is really good. I just, oh, oh my God, guys, I want to cry. I just want to feel clean and I just want to finish something. I just want to start something and finish it. <sighs> it's not funny. Highly recommend this. I will repurchase it. I will use it until every single last drop is gone. Okay, the last product I want to talk about in today's video, guys, is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with Salicylic Acid. So this is the product that made me purchase all the others. It was the one that intrigued me to try out more from the brand. I have purchased three bottles of this so far. I'm obsessed with it. Cannot go without. I thought that I could go maybe a couple weeks without using this while I was waiting for mine to come in. And I used a different BHA, um toner which I probably would have liked before trying this one but it was like it was not comparable at all. This product the first time I used it in the morning I was like wow I'm having a good skin day like my skin looks really nice and then I continued to use it not thinking anything of it and realized that this was the reason my skin was looking so different. It has evened out my skin tone a ton. I have like redness and I have red spots and hyperpigmentation. I don't even wear half the foundation I used to wear. Just because I feel I don't need it, my skin just looks so much more even and my pores are smaller and the surface of my skin is like so smooth and exfoliated without being irritated at all. So it says it's for all skin types and it says it unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores. 100% I agree. Smooth and even skin tone, 100% agree. And lightweight liquid absorbs quickly, 100% agree. So I love the way that this feels on my skin afterwards because again, it doesn't, it's not a toner that strips your skin. It doesn't feel dry or tight whatsoever. It actually feels really moisturized and like, and almost like silky Yay. right after you use it. But the results of the way it's made my skin look are incredible. I swear by this product. I have raved about it to every single person I know because I feel like this is one of the best skincare products. It might be the my new holy grail if I had to get rid of every skincare product except for one. I would keep this toner. Okay guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hearing more about this brand and their products. I will definitely be considering trying more products from the line because overall I just really, really like it. If you have any questions, I do try to get to my my, um, comments down below even though it takes me like a week or so to get back to you if you have any questions about the products just ask down below if there was something that I maybe didn't mention or whatnot but everything will be linked below if you guys are interested in purchasing and thank you guys so much for watching I love you and I'll see you in the next video bye guys